In this morning's Health Watch, are today's kids trying to do too much too soon? Over the weekend, 16-year-old Abby Sunderland was rescued after trying to sail around the world alone. On her blog, Abby responded to the storm of criticism about her being so young by saying, as for age, since when does age create gigantic waves and storms? Abby, of course, isn't the only young adventurer. Just last month, 13-year-old Jordan Romero became the youngest person to ever climb Mount Everest. And all this comes a decade after 7-year-old Jessica Dubroff crashed and died after trying to become the youngest person to fly a plane across the U.S. So it all begs the question, when is a child old enough to try to set a record? Joining us this morning, child psychologist and early show contributor, Dr. Jennifer Harsey. Good to have you with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Is there, I mean, can you give a... a Simple answer to what is the correct age to say to your kids, sure, you can sail around the, the, the globe by yourself. No, there is no simple answer. I think that it really depends on the kid. Seven to fly across the country might be too young, but 16, if you have the wherewithal, if you have the composure and the ability to stay calm under pressure, as Abby did, might be okay. You really need to figure out what the skill level is of your own kid. So, and, and when you say skill level, it's not just that she's skilled enough to, to navigate this boat, because as her father said, and he said to me on Saturday morning, look, I absolutely would endorse her doing this again wholeheartedly. She has the experience, she has the skill, but it's that mental. It is. It's the mental component. It's really being able to say, okay, if this happens, then I'll do this. And it's not reacting out of impulse. It's being able to keep your cool in a pressure cooker situation so that anything that gets thrown at you, you can handle. And she's by herself. That's a little scary, but we have to wonder. It's hard to ignore the criticism that's been thrown at her parents uh, for allowing her to do this, for saying they would support her doing it again. And, and then this morning in the New York Post, apparently the father told the paper, hey, yeah, you know what, I was kind of shopping a reality show. I think it's great to show, you know, it's encouraging kids to try new things. Right. How does all of that figure in when, when we live in this era of, oh, it's a reality show? Right. It's a it really, t the timing is really horrible for them to say, oh, shopping a reality show and here's my daughter who just got lost in the ocean. It does add to the criticism, oh, it was all about the money. It was all about the publicity. And now that they're on everybody's radar, we're going to want to watch this show. And I think that that is, we have to question what were the motives? Are they doing this for their kid and their own ability of their child or in the service of themselves? And, and oftentimes when we do see these situations, how much of it is the child saying, I want to do this. How much of it is the parent saying, hey, you could set a world record? 16. Right. Seven. It, right. It's such a good question. And I think someone like Jordan Romero, he might have said, hey, wouldn't this be cool? And his parents encouraged him. And then they did it together. And I think she really was put at risk because they were going for this record and ended up in the middle of the Indian Ocean with 30 foot swells at the worst time because if she didn't go right then, they wouldn't make the record. That makes you wonder what was the motivation, why would they chose that time. And are you seeing more of this of, hey, I'm trying to set this record, that record nowadays, or is it just me? It certainly